friends, welcome back to another episode of Montana Haven, Alaska edition. So yeah, hopefully everything's going well. So this week should be an exciting, interesting uh, time. Um, we've got, we're gonna finish up this project hopefully today that we're working on. And then in the, we're hoping Tuesday and Tuesday night, spending the night out on the boat in Prince William Sound with the family Tuesday and Wednesday. So that's what we're hoping for. So it should be a fun week. Um, then towards the end of the week, maybe we can do some yard work. So it could be an action packed week. So guys sit back and enjoy, things could change, but that's what we're thinking right now. We look forward to this week and we hope you're having a blessed week and uh, enjoy the rest of the video and God bless each and every one of you. Okay, we got this lean added onto this project, got it all wrapped up and this other side as well. So this was just a barn we got here and we got both of these sides done. So now it's off to get ready for tomorrow. All right, guys, we're on our first ever overnight boating trip here in Whittier, Alaska in the Prince William Sound and we're so excited. You guys excited? Yeah. Woohoo, it's time to take off and roll. First fish on that we think we can get in here. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Woo! Nice going. What we got, boys? Pink. Pink salmon. A little bit cloudy, but just so nice right here. This is so fun. Do this as a family. It's just inexpressible fun. Just absolutely fantastic. Avalon's manning the little kicker motor. scenery here is just so stunning. The ice is really moving too. We stopped at this amazing place to take a potty break. Absolutely phenomenal. And then we came over here and they found these fish spawning in the creek. What a beautiful, glorious place this is. This is just one of a thousand or ten thousand. Got a big one. I'm kind of sorry to leave this place. It was 
so beautiful just just gorgeous just glorious what a beautiful day one of these rare summer days in Whittier or in Prince William Sound just absolutely glorious now we're going to try our hand at some rock fishing all right Avalon got an ugly looking rock fish of some kind <laughs> wow we were thinking about camping in this beautiful spot by these waterfalls. Look at that amazing waterfall right there. But it looks a little marshy here. So we may have to pick another spot. Would be a room with a view for sure. We found the perfect campsite. Well, it's not perfect, but it's gonna be pretty nice. We're right here beside the ocean, the tide is in. Then the children are going to sleep in here, and we're going to sleep in the boat. And look at what Priscilla, actually the boys found it. But look what they're grazing on right now. Look at these beautiful big huckleberries. Wow. Pretty amazing. Very nice. What a beautiful place. Silla and I are anchored out here, a fair bit offshore, a little bit deeper water, and the youngs are in there all crammed into one tent. They're having a good time. Yep. What do you say, babe? Is this good stuff or what? First time by ourselves. On the boat. On the boat, on the water. Yes. <laughs> so cool because over here behind us, there you can um, hear water trickling. And over here, there's salmon that keep jumping. It's just a peaceful evening here. There's a little stream that's coming in on that side and actually probably 10.30 right now. Every once in a while, salmon jumps up. What you think, babe? I think this looks pretty good. Oh, amazing. you know what? We forgot we only got half the lights oh. turned on. Check it out. There we go. It's pretty cozy in here. It's very comfy. We're going to sleep well in here. Yeah. Can open the hatch up there, but it's kind of skeetery, so we might just leave that closed for tonight. Unless it gets stuffy in here. Pretty nice little cuddy cabin. Yeah, it is. Check this out, guys. We're here in our little boat, and Priscilla spotted a bear. Right there it is. No joke walking along the shore. Little black bear, half grown. Maybe it's large, it's kind of hard to tell from here. Probably smells us because we were over there last night. happening babe <laughs> one way to get ready on a boat <laughs> brushing my hair overboard children are anxiously waiting on us to come in and get some bacon and eggs going this was just so pleasant like it was absolutely quiet just so quiet super also. quiet it's just so it was just really fun. I'd love to do this again. A little cloudy and misty this morning. We're gonna go out and try to catch some rockfish. Well, we've got the pro on the frying the bacon and making the coffee. Captain Hook, Hook, Hook I mean Cook. <laughs> <laughs> what is really special to me is that he usually kind of cooks when we go camping because I do all the cooking at home and then he cooks for us when we go camping. The boys I like were, it actually. Yeah, he does. The boys were out already hiking around the place. We saw a bear this morning. Just pretty, pretty awesome. It's really not that cold here 
Although I like to keep myself warm. They're silly, like, they're like, they're not mosquitoes, they're like white, I think they're white socks, these bugs. They're just ornery. Yeah. Buzzing around everywhere. <laughs> but we're gonna have a good breakfast, that's for sure. Eggs coming up next. Yep. I like mom fixes it, but it's campfire food. Oh, babe. This both is good. It's better yeah. than me. No, oh, no. <laughs> no. I really treasure when you make food. <laughs> Got some problems. We are kind of stuck. There we go. She broke loose. Ooh. Tide is going out. We just from the time it took us to load this thing, it got stuck. See if you can push this. Then we're floating back here, aren't we? Yes. Okay. Good deal. Good job, boys. Leaving Haven Cove. At least that's what we're calling it. What a great, great time we had in this little special place. No other human being around. And deploying the final buoys for the shrimp pots. All right. May you get a lot of shrimp. Buoys, shrimp pots. Time to do a little rock fishing around these rocks right here. We've got all kinds of weird lures that we're using with some chunks of pink salmon that we caught put a little bit of krill juice on there i'll see my honey bun get a big rockfish <laughs> i'm a little guy too i'm a little girl and my big girl and my big boys <laughs> yay look what silla got she oh just got herself goodness. a rock bass oh what a funny looking fish Wow. What is, is it a rock bass? It's a, yeah, some kind of rock bass. Wow. We'll have to check the <laughs> book, see what it is. Oh my, this is fun. Nice. Okay, now it's two for Avalon, one for Priscilla. Wow. First one today. Yep. Whoa. Chloe and Wyatt and everybody else still needs to get one. Oh, nice. Hey, Justin got one. Canary or something. Sorry. Look how orange that thing is. Yeah, I, I think it's called canary. Wow. Very rock fish. Look at that. Two fish in the boat. There's that one. And <laughs> Silo's ugly thing here. Oh, orange. Oh, wow, that's orange. Look at that's Hold them together. Two rock bass. Wow. Nice. Look at the colors of that thing. What a perfect, <laughs> beautiful. We've got something. What do we got, Chloe? Bring it on in, girl. It's like a... Oh, no goodness. way. No way. Look at that thing. Bring it in. What? Look at the mouth. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Woo. I'll help you. Woo! Look at the size of that mouth, Chloe. Wow, Chloe, this is a heavy one. Wow! <laughs> nice going. Chloe's catching it. Can you even lift it? Yeah, Whoa. Chloe's catching it. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's a big one. 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 Oh, that's a Somewhere underneath the boat. Bring it on in. <laughs> um. Have next. Yeah, I just saw that. Okay, that, that might be jellyfish tentacle. I might not. You might not want to touch that. I still don't see it. Green card. 
Yeah, okay, oh, 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 okay, let me get the net on this guy. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh it's a snook tip. I guess it's enough thing to be the Essa. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, oh there it went again. Oh, it came off. swallows your fingers. I it, it tries to swallow. I like I can pull it. It's got right there. It's, oh, it looked like it was oh, eating. Crab. It had a crab in there. <laughs> Whoa. I got the biggest fish. Ow, ow, ow. I okay. have the biggest. Now what has the biggest? All right, my first one. <laughs> He's been helping everyone else, so now he finally got one. I like these poles that really got some bend to them. It feels like they really got something. It does feel like it's a pretty good one on here, though. Wow. Coming up pretty hard. Actually, really pulling. Let's see what we got. Might be a dandy. Come to Papa. <laughs> it's way out there. There it comes. Coming up. Ooh, Wyatt's a big one. I see the shadow coming up. Yes. Ooh, I'll bring Ooh. it over here, Wyatt. I don't know what it is yet. Oh! Stick it down in there, Wyatt. Stick your net down. Okay. I'll bring it over. <laughs> it wow. got a big mouth. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> Looks like Wyatt's one. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Hey. Hey. Oh, crab nice baby. Job, crab baby. Check it out. Can you lift it up? <laughs> Guess what a crab baby is on. Nice. That, that thing's heavy, isn't it, Wyatt? Mm. That swallowed this up this time. One of those Irish lords, I think. Yep. One of those big oh, ones. Look, he was eating a crab. Totally swallowed it. Big as Wyatt's one? Probably. I don't think it's quite as big. Wow. Whoa, just look at that. <laughs> they look so hilarious. <laughs> big size of that mouth. Big mouth. Oh boy. <laughs> Time for a pit stop in this another extravagantly beautiful place. Came back here in the woods and look at this trail. It's probably a bear trail. Oh yeah, it's a bear trail. And a little bit of a like a lagoon back here or something. Trees are just mossy and so unique looking. Yeah, definitely a bear trail because there's no humans around here. We have this release here that we got to pop in here and we got to quickly release them down to the depths because we can only keep uh -oh. a couple of these per person or actually just one per person so we're releasing it back down so because they can't go down by themselves there we go 
go. There we go. Letting nice. it go all the way down. Then we pop this, and then it then it's released down to the bottom again. Oh, it's got something. <laughs> wait, no wait, no wait. Yeah. What? Yeah. Woo! Got a yellow Another eye. yellow eye or one yellow eye. Wow, one for dad, one for Wyatt. Good job, Wyatt. That's bigger than daddy's, I think. Nice. Holy. Very cool. <laughs> okay, guys, we've been pulling in these sh shrimp pots for a while. Still going. Okay, I think they're seeing the shrimp pot coming up. Are we in luck? Three oh, my word. Four. Four Only shrimp. four shrimp. No. Oh, my goodness. All that work. Okay. Was this the one with the old bait? Yep. 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 Okay. Old bait on this one. Maybe that's why. Hopefully. Okay. Hang on to that. Let me no. try and get it off of there. Oh. This was very old bait. This was like kind of moldy bait. So. We'll see. How long is the next one? 75 feet. Here we go. Okay. Really, not quite so fast. <laughs> Only a half a dozen. <laughs> wow. Not nearly as much as the other time. So far. Hmm. Oh. We've had 85 okay. last time. 13 shrimp. I guess there's no, a reason there's no other buoys in the area. <laughs> Ooh, oh, no, yeah. Good. Well. You know, we would have been better off to get two pots and put them in a better place rather than try three. Yeah. But I have, to, I have to eat at least one fresh right now. Well, you know, the other two times we did it, we had a lot. So yeah, that was did. great. That was a blessing. Okay. It's time to eat a shrimp here. Babe, you're not going to eat one raw, yep, are you? Spot shrimp are one of the only shrimp you can eat. Maybe the only one you can eat raw. Find the, where's the, the lid of this thing? Right, right here. Mmm, nice. Pop Never. the head off. Never. Pull that off. You can't get them any fresher than this. Hey, there's a poor job of peeling it. Tastes exactly like shrimp cocktail. <laughs> totally worth it. Yes. So good. Well, we got Justin driving and all the others are trying to help with the filleting. check this out we are excited we got a coffee machine you know how much we like coffee and we are so happy to try this machine this is called a Casa Brews coffee machine and we're gonna show you a little bit how it works we're just figuring it out mm -hmm. uh, but we just made a first cup here so Priscilla try it out mmm <laughs> it tastes like a professional it tastes delicious it does taste good. I sweetened it with maple syrup. That's all the syrup I use, just real maple syrup. Sweetener. Yeah, for sweetener. Yep. And wow, that is, this that's, is that's so good. good. Okay, we're gonna have to make some more cups and then we'll show you how it works. <laughs> but initially, it's pretty easy to set up. Um, it just, there's some, they have good directions, so you just have to read through the directions. Right. But uh, so far, this first cup is amazing. Okay, I yes. wanna make myself a cup. I did, we did a double shot. So a double shot with whole milk and maple syrup. Nice, let's try another one. Okay, all we have to do now is pop this in there and automatically grind it. Uh, we can set the grind for how many seconds we want. So we're still playing with it. 
and we set it up to about uh, eight, 17 seconds, I think, and we have a brine right now set at six. six. Ooh, we're getting a little much in there. Uh-oh, I think somebody tweaked it. Okay, so we might have to back off. It's 19 seconds, it's a little much. So we're gonna take this, put it in here, spin it just like a regular barista. There we go. Actually, I think that's what that's for right there. Push down on it. There we go. It's going to be a strong cup. <laughs> We're going to wipe this off right here. Okay, now we are going to put this in here, right there. Pop it over, and I need to get myself a cup. Okay, we're going to put our little shot glass that was homemade, and we're going to hit a uh, double shot right there. It's a double shot. And there we go. Now, that is just, I think, about the perfect consistency here. <clears throat> this went up to 12 bar. So you want it somewhere between six and 12 bar is where you want it. And that's just the amount of pressure that's coming through there. Okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna get our milk frothed. And we're just going to put it somewhere between the minimum and maximum amount. So I'll fill it about half full right there. Just like that. Put in a little dab of sweetener, just because we like it like that okay right now it's on the off position right here we're going to take it to steam ready and it's blinking once that quits blinking it's ready to steam okay we're going to turn it to steam and it's there we go. Take my shot, I'll dump it in there. Now, I do not know how to do coffee art yet, so. act like that is some art of some sort right there. It looks like an animal. Okay, there we have it. Okay, it is time to try this cup. Priscilla's frying the eggs, so it's time for me to get this taste tested done so we can eat. Ooh, that's hot. Mmm, that almost tastes like crema coffee house to me. <laughs> that is really good. That's just my first cup of coffee. Imagine my 10th cup, how good that's gonna be. Woo! Okay, guys, crema, Casa Brews combo. So we have a coffee house locally that we love. It's called Crema Coffee. So it tastes like Crema Coffee. Casa Brews, we're gonna tell you in a minute. Uh, we're gonna try it like tomorrow morning, the next morning, and we're gonna video a little bit more, and then we're gonna give you some more recommendations. But we're gonna tell you how you can get this coffee machine. One of my favorite times of day has arrived. You can guess what it is. It's breakfast and that means coffee time. While I am making coffee here, I'll whip around and I'll show you what Priscilla is whipping up, which is amazing. But let's get started with our coffee this morning. So first things first, we've, I've discovered this thing is really functional. I'm totally an amateur at this, uh, amateur, but like this just pops right off. You can put your coffee beans inside there. <clears throat> pops right on if you want to remove it. You just remove it and there uh, you can take it off and clean it if you want, just like so. It comes with all the accessories that you need. Um, single shot, this is for a double shot right here. Some things that you probably don't really need, but they're just um, included. Hit the on button just like that. It comes with your milk frother down here. 
comes with, uh, I'm not sure what you call this, but this is uh, obviously where you put the coffee in to grind and then um, over here to, to get the espresso shot. <clears throat> comes with your tamper and this little guy here to uh, flatten it out on top. It's even got a little deal for coffee art, which is pretty cool. All right, let's get started with our coffee. So you can grind the coffee from one, being super fine, all the way up to 15, which is really coarse. So we've got it set somewhere in the middle, around uh, six is where we've set it at the moment. And I also think that uh, since it's an espresso, it makes a really strong cup of coffee. Yesterday, um, I felt like it was stronger than what I normally would, would get with the same amount of coffee. And while he's doing the coffee, I'm making a breakfast pizza with sourdough crust. It's like sourdough discard. And so I just have put on some tomatoes, some a little bit of onions. And out in my porch, I have pots of herbs. I have oregano, chives, and basil, and sage. So, and then I'm going to put on ham and cheese and then top it with eggs and bake it like that. Looks so good. Oh, I love that kind of pizza. Okay, it's time to get back to the coffee. Let's roll with this. Time to make a cup. So the first thing that uh, I want to tell you is you can adjust this, adjust the seconds on how long you want it to grind. So you can adjust uh, how coarse or fine you want it to grind and you can adjust how much you want to go in here. So you can adjust the seconds as you know, quite a, quite a ways up <clears throat> down to five, and you can go put grind a lot of coffee. Like you can grind a whole minute if you want. But for the purpose of just filling this up, uh, we put it somewhere around. Uh, we're gonna do seventeen. Um, I think it works pretty good. Okay, so all we have to do is we're gonna do a double shot, and so we're gonna put our double shot in there. It just pops in. Okay, we'll I'll just slide this right in here and get our grind going right there. It's counting down the seconds. And I think our seconds are a little long because we got just a little fuller than I think we may want it, but we're gonna come over here Take our handy dandy doodad right here. Spin that on there. Now I should actually, because it's a little full, I should take my little brush that I that they gave me and brush this off. I'm gonna have to take my seconds down like a little bit. You can still see I'm a very amateur at it. Amateur. And there we go. There's your coffee. Now, we're going to put it right up in here, turn it over, and we're gonna put our shot glasses underneath. We are making two shots this morning. So we're gonna hit double, and it's warming up, and then we're going. Okay. Now, I wish I would know how to do ca cafe art or coffee art, but I don't. So we'll just pretend like we know what we're doing. Now, you see I've got this fancy, dancy art tool that they sent along. You know what, that passes. Hey babe, it's 
It's up to you. Mm, that doesn't look too bad. <laughs> wow, it's perfect. I don't have to go out to an expensive <laughs> place to get coffee anymore. This is really good, but we forgot the sweetener, babe. Oh, we did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we like to put maple syrup or coconut sugar or something like that in it. Mm. It's really good. It's very good. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. strong enough mm -hmm. too. All right, this is my, whoa, I am making a mess because I'm not a barista. There's my second cup of joe right there. And uh, we're just going to do a little bit of fancy stuff here. <laughs> I got almost more cream here. I can't do anything fancy. Okay, we're just going to go right into the tasting. <laughs> oh, that is so good with a little bit of cream, um, maple syrup in there. Okay guys, here's my honest opinion. You need one of these machines. If you like coffee, if you're a coffee snob, get one of these machines. Go to the description box below. You guys can get one here on Amazon or I recommend you go to the description box because you're going to get a discount. So just description box, click on the link. It'll take you right there. It'll give you a discount. And I recommend that you guys get this very machine. It's took just a little bit to set it up because there's different parts that you just basically pop together, but it's very self-explanatory, uh, not hard to do. Now that we're done, uh, what we do here is we take this bottom tray out and we just literally take this out and, and dump it. It's got a self-cleaning, it blows steam in here and cleans it all. So we're just gonna dump that, super simple. Um, I mean, it's kind of a foolproof method. You just click the seconds how long you want it to grind what, how coarse or fine you want it to grind, and you want one cup or two cups, or two, one shot or two shots. And that's about all you have to do, tamp it down. It does all the rest of the work for you. Obviously you have to steam it, but if you want a good cup of coffee, espresso, cappuccino, uh, whatever the goods are, latte at home, I think this is the machine for you. So let's check it out. Here's the breakfast pizza. Anything special to know about that, babe? Other than the deliciousness of it. Oh, it's just so easy. There's a few steps, but it's so easy to do, and it looks so uh, gourmet. It is gourmet. <laughs> I love breakfast pizzas. Just the best. Yeah. Delish. Well, guys, the order of the day today is we got to replace the pin on the excavator here, and then we're going to uh, just do some things that need to be done around here. That thing broke recently, so we had to get a new one and, and repair it. Well, it's back to work again after this wonderful fishing trip. But hey, it's all good. We're finally getting time to install the septic. It's not raining. It's a beautiful day. This is the RV septic. If you missed it in the last video. Um, matter of fact, I didn't get some of the, when we installed the septic, for some reason I didn't get that video, that footage into last week's video. So I might just add it right now. Okay, we got a homemade septic system here. So what we do is we put our RV dump in there. It goes in that first battle, barrel. The sludge goes down to the bottom and it fills up with water. And then once it comes to this center piece right here, it'll flow into here until this is the same height of water. Then they'll fill up both of them to the top. Now this one is gonna fill up to the top. Once it reaches the top, it's gonna start draining out here. So the floaters are gonna be up here on top, hopefully. And the, I think it's called F, effluent, is in the center, which is the water, the gray water. That's gonna be coming over here. This whole, one, this whole barrel shouldn't have any uh, sludge or floaters in it, just gray water. And then that's gonna come out here. We're gonna get some of those uh, leach chambers is what they're called. They're half dome and the water will uh, go down inside here and then evaporate out and seep down as well. So. That's the plan. I know this is only a 15 or 20 year situation until the barrels, you know, rot out or rust through, but it's not a really big deal to me because this is just kind of a temporary, this is not a permanent RV thing. So um, just something to keep our company happy for while we're here up in Alaska. So that's what we're doing, a homemade septic system. Okay, so you saw how we, um, installed it now we're putting this drain system in right here so I'll, sh I'll show it to you uh, how we pop these uh, leach 
chambers in. So this is the first one right here, and you can see there's the pipe coming out, and it's just going to clip right onto here like that. So there's this little notch on here, <clears throat> hooks onto that right there, and that there's a corresponding little bubble underneath there. So that's just all there's to it. And we're going to install the next one. Mainly just to hold it, keep the dirt away. Okay, so this little notch right here, just pick it up, put it right on there, and should swivel right into place. Boom. Just like that. And I'm not picky, it's just a simply for this. Keep the dirt off, and now we're good to go. Well, I almost forgot this, put this end piece on that I even really needed it. Okay, you gotta drop it down. Oh, it's okay, just like that. Okay, there we go, good to go. All right, let's cover it up. Another job down, got the RV drain for the septic got that all done got our boat unhooked from yesterday and what else did we do a bunch of little things it um, installed the septic thing and the boys are getting started here on our landscaping basically what we're doing is we're just going to put a little border all the way along the front here and then we're going to put landscape fabric inside there and this extra uh, wash or rock we're gonna put in there and then we'll plant some shrubs and stuff so That's kind of gonna be the border between where the roof drips down because we don't have gutters I don't really like gutters. They get torn off with snow and stuff. So that'll be It'll be a rock where the roof drips down and then it'll be grass on this side of the The border there. So we're gonna do that here and over there and then uh, we're gonna put this gravel in Kind of start getting things smoothed up, move rocks around and pick up rocks and we'll see how far we get in the next couple of days. But right now I've got to go in, in and edit a video that's supposed to be posted tomorrow. So I got to edit it, save it, upload it and all that fun stuff sometime like tonight. All right, I better get to work. It's time for a check-in. Look at this, you guys. It's late afternoon. I was literally in the house stuck all day taking care of paperwork which is so something i just despise but it has to be done look they did this lamp put the landscape fabric down they moved all these boulders they moved all the boulders that were scattered around here they moved a big pile because we're going to use them for uh out around here it's going to make it look make it look really nice and right now they're picking up rocks oh man look at all the big rocks they chunked out of here because we're getting ready to get some um, topsoil on here. Man, you guys, it's looking so good around here. Just picking up those rocks made it look like a thousand times better. Wow. Thank you so much. Now Daddy came out to help, and we're going to make the pieces fly. Oh, no. What do we have here? What is this thing? Looks like a cardinal. <laughs> Chloe and Wyatt made that. And uh, what's it supposed to be? It's supposed to be a dinosaur bird. A dinosaur bird. Woo! Scary. <laughs> Very nice. Good imagination. I like it. Mosquito spray. Hey, hey. Loving it. Chloe on the pickaxe. Avalon is with Priscilla doing some shopping, grocery shopping, and we're finishing this up. We're almost done. It's looking good. Now we're going to back drag it and make it smooth, get it ready for some topsoil. Wowzer de doodles. Starting to look like something. So we got all those rocks picked up and put it in there. Put in there. We'll put some boulders in there. Probably a few more shrubs. I'm getting this whole area uh, flattened out with the excavator and then we're gonna get some topsoil hopefully tomorrow get that spread out maybe maybe tomorrow we can actually get this thing seeded that would be amazing so 
We picked up a lot of rocks. We probably picked up six skid steer bucket loads of rocks off of here. And there's going to be more coming up. But at least we got quite a few. Those boulders over there are going to be lined up along here. And we're still going to need more of this gravel. We're going to keep putting this gravel out around here. So, and, and plant some shrubs and stuff along here. We just decided to not have yard right here because it's too busy with all this going on. So, I'm going to have to get some gravel for that at some point. And uh, I'm going to flatten this all out back here. A little bit of dirt here. Yeah, it's coming together. Well, I'm loving it. I think after dinner, I'm, I'm going to come out and just keep working. It's so fun when you accomplish stuff like this. There's that delicious yellow eye that either Wyatt or I caught yesterday. What do we have? Fresh bread, hun? Yeah, fresh bread. Tell us what's on. Oh, that right there are some of those. Those are the shrimp. The handful of shrimp we got. That's all the shrimp. <laughs> plus some leftovers that we had from the last time we went out. Yeah. The first time we went out, actually. Yes. Rice. And then what What else do we have, babe? Oh, I'm just getting out this banana cake. Banana chocolate chip cake. Ooh. We had some old bananas, so I decided nice. to Nice. That. that looks good. I'm so hungry. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching this video. We really appreciate it. Just if you don't mind liking and subscribing, that helps us out. We do very appreciate that very much. So we did not get our um, topsoil, as you probably noticed uh, in this week's video. It started raining Saturday. It rained all day and they wouldn't bring it. It was anyways too muddy. I finished grading it. So everything is ready for the topsoil. We just didn't get it put on. So thanks for watching. But listen, I'm going to show you what's going to happen on next week's video. Look at this. We are on family vacation. And that's all I'm going to say about that. You're going to have to watch and wait and find out what, what's happening this week. See you next week. Mm -hmm.